So it's just to keep mixing up the old content so it's not stale and tedious. It's one of them talky ones. I thought I'd do a little vlog. Um, yeah, I know the title's not. Am I a content creator? Not really. Do I make content? I suppose so. Is it about anything in particular? Not normally. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a little, you know, this is this is what I do most days, isn't it? So I'm out with the the little chap wherever he's gone. Um, I think he's there waiting for me. No, stand corrected. He's somewhere. And um, yeah, just shooting a uh, shooting it makes me sound professional. Doing some videos of, of sorts. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'll keep coming back to this. It's not going to be a 24-hour vlog, is it? I'll be out for a couple of hours, maybe, at most. Um, shooting, shooting, filming the um, the old Amouage, uh, one of the Amouage sections today, so loads of notes and that. And um, also another video, probably, if I, if I get time in amongst it. Um, and this is just kind of how I do it, combining things that I love together really isn't it walking the dog being outside like talking and um may as well film some some stuff whilst I'm out here hadn't I um could still enjoy the peace and quiet and all of that so we've done a bit of the old filming um I've taken some pictures um because again you may as well do as much as you as you can uh this this is one today that I'll be picturing um but yeah, why why do I film like this? Um, I suppose that would be a question, wouldn't it? Really, because um, I don't, I can't, I get too self-conscious sat down talking. Obviously, I don't like myself being seen on it. But even if I'm just sat down and it's hands and stuff, I get very self-conscious sat down talking something. When you're out walking, you're not really thinking about it, are you? Everything. That's why I'm quite. Don't get me wrong. I mean. I still um, refilm and, and whatnot quite a lot, don't I? Um, and I still cut bits and, and add bits, you know. Um, but I generally feel it's much easier. And if I make a mistake with this, I just start, stop and start again, ultimately. Um, and it just, I don't know, I like the fresh air and stuff. And um, yeah, it just gets the creative juices flowing, doesn't it? Everything's comes out much easier and it's easier to speak and it's easier to express yourself I find anyway um, so that's why um, I will come back next is I suppose why after so long do I still do this um, you know my, my YouTube channel isn't particularly a thing is it really I don't know is it documenting my stuff um, documenting my thoughts I have a very nice little audience, it's, you know, very interactive and stuff, and not everyone's going to watch everything, that's, that's how it is. But I don't really want to be a, a YouTuber person or an influencer or any of that. I don't want the pressure and I don't want to, yeah, to, to, to achieve that. You'd have to change your style, wouldn't you? And that's, it's not going to happen really, to be honest with you. Um... I mean, we're all, you know, some of us, you keep getting that offer from Instagram to uh, to improve your reels and have a little chat with a professional, like a little free five minutes or whatever. And I think, I don't want that. I don't... Are you going to tell me how to improve it using my style or my kind of shtick or whatever? Or are you going to tell me how to chase the algorithm? It's not what I want. I don't want to make the same content as everybody else because that would be, what would be the point then? There'd be no enjoyment, no pleasure in it. Just, you know, likes and follows and that. And you'll see a lot of, a lot of the biggest uh, accounts on Instagram, especially um, in this in this world who have more followers than there are people in Fragcom. You'll notice they have very few posts. Some of them have posts that don't say anything. They're just posting stuff that's algorithm friendly, you know? 453,000 posts of Zara fragrances and some kind of weird reels that are whatever, where you can put the best hashtags to get people to watch. This is, 
there's no soul, there's no essence, there's no love, there's no passion. And um, I don't want to become that. For what, for what reason again? Why would I want to have loads of random empty thoughts? Yeah, so, th I mean, the reason I'm rambling on about this is these thoughts go through my head quite a lot. I think we all do. I think we all think, what the hell am I doing? I'm talking about smelly water. Why? What do I get from it? Why? You know, I'm not chasing <laughs> freebies or or money or whatever it is that these people get and the whole uh, fiddling stuff and you know I'm not implying anybody does it even though it's really blatant buying followers and that what do you get from that? what sense of achievement and warmth inside do you, do you get from that? do you go to bed at night thinking um, oh one person's followed me who's like you know, they're, they're really cool, they've got all this interesting comments. They don't agree with everything I say, but yeah, they're, they're a nice chat with them. Or do you go to bed going, Oh, I got 5,000 new followers today. I bought them. Woohoo! What a success, I feel so dead inside. I mean, what's what's the point? Oh, oh some, some random company's going to send me a free bottle now that they haven't checked out when my followers are bought. It's just, it's miserable. And if you look at some of the, I mean, I'm talking about Instagram, but if you look at some of the, the, the these people with the tens of thousands, they don't have any comments. They're like four or five. Oh, well, you think... I mean, again, I got a question why why I do it sometimes, but you go, what what are you doing? <laughs> what do you get out of that? But it's up to people, and it's much the same on YouTube, isn't it? I used to watch absolutely loads, and then it's kind of say it's maybe a dozen I watch regularly, and that that they're generally people who don't make the same content that's out there, that's continuously the same thing rehashed, and now we've seen on YouTube. Yeah, it's it's tongue in cheek, not tongue in cheek. Some of it's serious. Some of the tongue in cheek is blatantly chasing the the people who would really watch these things. The panty dropper thing. Yeah, my God, as a, you know, as I see our our society in this country crumble down to two hundred years ago in the gutter. It's where frag comes going. It's where society's going in it. But I'm not here to rant. But yeah, that. <laughs> Why do I still do it? Because I enjoy it. Ultimately, it's a bit of therapy for me. It's a bit of just something to focus the mind on. Obviously, I enjoy the fragrances. Some of them genuinely do take us to special places and that. Obviously, discovering new ones and that. It's always that thrill, the, the, the next thing. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy the ones I have, um, obviously. But there is. There's, there's what else is out there. It's, it's like being an explorer sometimes, isn't it? But to be an explorer, you've got to take it all in. And again, I'm not, this is not a video about having digs at people, but you know, you get these videos made of someone who's, if they even have sprayed the fragrance, they certainly haven't spent any time with it because it might have been sprayed once or something. And they're the, the reading the blurb in a different order. Where's the enjoyment in that? Where's the pleasure in that? You haven't experienced a fragrance, you don't enjoy it. Um, what do you get from it? Just to get the next bottle that you're going to spray once and and put on a cupboard or sell like a lot of them do. It's just, oh, it's not be like going to work ultimately, wouldn't it? Which is not, not what this is about. So this was a very long rambly section, but that that's why. And again, I don't have any disrespect to people who do things differently, just because I can't understand that side of things um, there are people with lots of numbers who clearly still love it and enjoy it so that you know just there's no right or wrong but for me personally that so I guess the kind of final thing I mean again this is I'll, I'll be walking the dog anyway but but look at these views it's just stunning why wouldn't I want to share that with the world and the the rain clouds obviously it's raining but yeah why why I suppose the final kind of bit is what why my style if you like um the honest truth is i don't know how to be anything else um i can't i can't speak in a kind of scripted you know formulaic algorithmy way i can only talk how, how I, i'm used to talking now i 
the, the tedious things here. Um, first of all, when I was young, I was sacked. Well, let go twice as being a salesperson. So I can't do that because, too honest, I, I can't, you know, you can't talk good about something if it's if it's not good. Can't be overly polite. And plus, I think a bit of that's been northern, if you like, stereotype. You just got to say it as it is. What's the point otherwise? It's, you know... Um, I can be abrupt and, and what have you sometimes, but I think, I've, I think I managed to do both with still being polite. Um, there's no need to be insulting, but just you don't need to kind of over, overdo it with the niceties about something that's not nice. And the other thing is why, you know, I've gone through why the walking style, but why is my style of posts? Um, again, not algorithmy. Why I just stick the notes up and a brief kind of whatever it smells like. Why do I go into the little stories or the abstract or the the weird descriptions and stuff? And that's because that's that's where my mind literally takes me. Um, you can go read the notes from anybody else. And whether that makes me, you know, makes me go whatever the word is, is it viral um, or whatever, or loads of people like and whatever my put that's that's irrelevant. Um, I'm telling what I get from the fragrance in my own way. That's it, and it's the same with the videos. Um, yeah, I do weird lists. I do, I do weird things, but that's kind of a bit of part of my personality. It's obviously rebelling against the system. is is part of me, despite my old age. I don't think that'll ever fall out of me. But it's also just being genuinely me. I've always made dad jokes. I've always got these little. Um, romantic stories in my head. I've always got these little dark daydreams and, and you know, an interest in the kind of occult to a point, you know, vampires and fairies and, and because they all come from stories, don't they? And that's that's where I like to go. Um, so that's, that's why my style, because I don't, because that's just me. Um, yeah. So now this video, um, you see from the title what it is, this was a kind of viewers request not, not really margot said why don't you do this video um about tender fragrances and it's the definition of the word tender i suppose is quite a quite a tricky one to kind of go with that isn't it tender is is can mean a lot to everyone but tender is kind of a soft a soft love isn't it it's um it's kind of a gentle, empathetic even kind of love. You can have tender from your partner. You can have tender from, from a, a friend or a family member or something. It just means almost soft and, and without wanting anything back or, or just a kind of comfort, to comfort someone, to make them feel loved or wanted or better. And um, can fragrances be tender? Can they give you this kind of soft, gentle hug or caress or tap on the head and that? And um, yeah, maybe. So th this is I'm not. This is not going to be a long video. It's just going to get right into it. So here are my tender fragrance. So yeah, it's just um, a little chatty video which I do sometimes. Um, but I don't know why I do a Wednesday video. To be honest, it's just. I, I, it's one of my weaknesses is I get into a kind of um, rhythm and, and I need structure to my days and stuff in, in a funny kind of way so you know there's specific again I'm going back onto Instagram sorry about that but there's specific posts on specific days and specific feature kind of things because it just keeps a bit of it helps focus a little bit so it's not all random stuff and the Wednesday videos have just, you know, I've tried all sorts of different things. Um, I don't, to be honest, the one minute things were for TikTok. Um, I've tried to get into that, I can't. End of, end of story. But you can't say anything in a minute, can you? Especially me. What, what, what you know, what's... <laughs> I hated them and I struggled. So Wednesdays are just going to be a random mishmash of this, that and the other. Just videos here and there. And hopefully... I'll keep doing the occasional completely random, different kind of thing because it's what I enjoy doing. All right, thanks for watching, folks. So, I suppose, why do you keep making videos? 
do, do, have you changed your style? Have you always been kind of the same? What about your content? What keeps you interested in fragrance? Right. Bye.